Well, we learned about active love um, through, I think it was our social worker. So actually, uh, we live and work out of the U.S., even though we're U.S. citizens. And so um, there was a U.S. social worker in the, the country we were living in. And uh, she had previously worked with Active Love, placing children with U.S. citizens who are living abroad. Uh, so we, that's specifically why we chose Active Love, because we're out of the country. Uh, so, yeah, our adoption process, you know, it definitely had its ups and downs. It took, um, once we were approved uh, to adopt in terms of having our home study uh, completed and Active Love agreed to work with us, it probably took nearly two years. Uh, we were matched twice before Eli. Uh, both cases uh, didn't work out, unfortunately, and that, that was hard. Fortunately, no. Well, no, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, we're, we're very happy we wouldn't change um, you know, our journey in adoption, but it definitely had its ups and downs. Um, I think the way we just kept thinking about it was, uh, you know, every day we had what we needed to be happy, so we focused on the day that we were living in, and uh, we knew that, you know, eventually it was just a matter of, uh, time before we were matched and placed and uh, we were right, you know, we just brought Eli home from the hospital yesterday uh, Our experience with the act of love, I would say was positive uh, Tara Lee and the other staff were you know, very supportive answering questions that we had uh, and you know, they understood that uh, You know the adoption process for adopting parents, you know, it's scary and uh, you know, they offered as much uh, support as they were able to